Yo, what's going on, people? Today we had a uh, final day of the Premier League, and uh, Chelsea lost their game today, one nothing, to I believe a ten man Ever Everton side. And immediately following, Carlo Ancelotti was dismissed from the club, or left the club, or however you want to look at it. He is no longer manager of um, the Chelsea side, so. Obviously, this leaves a bunch of questions. Number one, who's gonna <laughs> who's gonna replace him? And uh, at such a large club at the moment, first and um, I believe the guy in the front running is Villa Boas from uh, Porto. Seems to be the uh, the number one guy at the moment. And second, how this will affect the Chelsea squad. Now, Chelsea have some older players, and I know that people have been uh, wanting to get rid of these older players, or not get rid of them necessarily, but uh, look to rebuild from the ground up. Now, if you get a manager coming in that decides, hey, I don't like these old players, I don't like John Terry or say Frank Lampard or Didier Drogba they could be gone and and it could all be just from a change of scenery as the head manager um, they can be bringing in younger players, they can bring older players, they can be bringing in players that no one even thought were on the Chelsea radar as of uh, as of right now, they can bring in players that hey, nobody was looking at. Be like uh, maybe they're not good enough for this side, or maybe they're average, or maybe they won't fit. But hell, if you get a if you get a manager that is a uh, from um, uh, a different country such as France or Portugal or say Spain. And you're getting, uh, and you're getting players from those countries who may not be as tough or as physical-minded as the players have to be in the Premier League. But so yes, Carlo and no more Carlo Ancelotti. Now Chelsea, I believe, are going to have the biggest shakeups all year or all summer than any club, especially concerning players, uh, considering the amount of older players they have, the few young players they have, and the new manager coming in, they could they could just clear out completely and rebuild again. They may <laughs> they may be absolutely awful next year for all we know. But um what I think will happen is I think they'll keep the core like such as John Terry, Frank Lampard, and get rid of the old aging players not necessarily needed such as Drogba and such as uh, maybe Ivanovic, uh, uh, Zerkov, Ivanovic, those kind of players in which aren't necessarily trademark players but they're not getting any younger kind of things and I think that's gonna happen this year. I don't know who's gonna take over manager but I can tell you one thing I can Tell you, Villa Boas is looking at this as a golden opportunity. I think for his career to take off as if it hadn't taken off already with Porto, I think it can go flying off next season or this summer or whatever. I mean, they got to have a new manager soon. I mean, the window's just opening up, and we got and they got to get a uh, got to get a plan working for what they're going to do with players and whatnot if they don't want to go on a downward spiral next year. But, um, yeah, anyway, okay, so keep the lookout for Chelsea this summer. Uh, I will be updating all of that this summer, don't worry. Um, and, uh, uh, Santos, you know, we've got Santos here today. This is, uh, because of Neymar, 
who is a primary target for Chelsea this summer and not necessarily manager wise because the owner has stated that he is the one behind the pulling of Neymar to the club and he's the one who wants and the management or not the manager yeah the the owners are the one who want Neymar so he's a guy who's almost guaranteed to come as he has Neymar knocks on a goal there um, he's almost guaranteed to come. Uh, he said he wants to move to Chelsea now, and Chelsea are very adamant about buying him and uh, making him a part of the club. And he's a fantastic player if you haven't seen him already. I've seen him play for Brazil. I've seen him play for Santos. Um, and he's just a great young player. He's 18, I believe. And he will be a huge player in Chelsea's and Brazil's further implications into the future so I think he's a he's gonna be a great signing for them but again this is their uh, way of rebuilding from the ground up I think so um, yeah as this game comes down to a close comes down to a close I'm gonna leave you with thoughts on uh, um, on Ancelotti and Neymar and tell me what you think tell me what you think is gonna happen I wanna know what you guys think is gonna happen to Chelsea this summer and next season and who's gonna take over management and who do you guys think will go so um yeah guys peace